Wii U Direct, Nintendo Games, 23rd January 2013 Two Zelda games, Mario, Mario Kart and other fan favourites franchises planned for Wii U. New Nintendo Direct looks at Nintendo's vision for Wii U, including launching Virtual Console and how Miiverse and second screen gaming features will continue to evolve. Nintendo President Satoru Iwata unleashed Wii U news in installment of Nintendo Direct on the 23rd of January 2013, as he outlined Nintendo's future plans for the console. Iwata revealed how the Wii U launch lineup will be bolstered by a long list of top game franchises headed for the new console. These are games that long-time players and newcomers alike will love to play and everyone will be experiencing them in new ways, thanks to the integrated second screen experiences enabled by the Wii U gamepad controller. The many announcements included game news, two Zelda games, Eiji Anuma, the producer of the Legend of Zelda series, revealed two entries in the series for the Wii U. Super Mario is on his way. The Nintendo EAD Tokyo software development team that created the Super Mario Galaxy games for Wii and Super Mario 3D Land for Nintendo 3DS is working on a new 3D Mario action game for Wii U. The game is scheduled to be playable at this year's E3. Racing ahead, Nintendo is also working on a new installment of the Hit Mario Kart franchise. This game is also planned to be playable at E3. Yan Yoshi The team that created Kirby's Epic Yarn is hard at work on the first console game to feature Yoshi as the main character since 1998's Yoshi's Story for Nintendo 64. Takashi Tezuka, director of Yoshi's Land and Yoshi's Story, is supervising the development of the new game, which is set in a fanciful world of yarn and textile. Wii Fit U Communities New features coming to Wii Fit U include letting players create user communities on Miiverse from within the game. Community members can discuss exercises, BMI, or weight changes and other health topics with other players as a way to encourage one another to reach their fitness goals. Similar functionality for other games is also planned. Pikmin 3 Photos The upcoming Pikmin 3 game includes a feature that lets players use the Wii U gamepad as a camera to share the same perspective as Pikmin and take close-up pictures of landscapes and creatures in the game and share them in Miiverse. The party continues. A new installment in the Wii Party franchise is planned to launch this winter. The game features various playstyles, including one that lets both players compete head-to-head -head using just the Wii U gamepad. RPG Mashup Nintendo has begun many collaborations with outside development partners to bring the best franchises and experiences to Wii U. In one such partnership, Nintendo and Atlus are working on a collaboration that features the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei franchises. A video trailer for the game was shown in the Nintendo Direct. A new game from Monolith Soft. Tetsuya Takahashi and the team at Monolith Soft that worked on Xenoblade Chronicles for Wii are working on a new game. A video trailer for the game was shown in the Nintendo Direct. More on the way, Iwata shared a new trailer for The Wonderful 101. That game and Game & Warrior are scheduled to launch in the first half of 2013. Iwata also showed a new video for Bayonetta 2. That game and the new Super Smash Bros. installment are still on the way, but will need more development time before details can be revealed. Virtual Console Virtual Console for Wii U an Autumn System update will add Virtual Console software to Nintendo eShop on Wii U. The service will launch right after the Autumn update and will include a selection of NES and Super NES games, with Game Boy Advance games to be added in the future. In Australia, Nintendo eShop NES price on Wii U is now $650 AU dollars or $850 and Z dollars, and Nintendo eShop SNES price on Wii U is now $1040 AU dollars or $1360 and Z dollars. People who have already purchased the Wii version of a certain NES or Super NES Virtual Console game and transferred it to their Wii U console can buy the enhanced Wii U version of the same game for the reduced price of $130 AU dollars or $170 and Z dollars for NES games and $195 AU dollars or $255 and Z dollars for Super NES games. Classic games for 30 cents! To celebrate the 30th anniversary of the release of the Famicom in Japan, which was known as the NES in Australia, Nintendo is making one NES or Super NES game available each month now through to July at the anniversary price of just 30 cents. Each game will be available at that price for 30 days. And the first is an NES game, Balloon Fight, which is now available in the Nintendo eShop for Wii U. Social and System Enhancements Miiverse expands to smartphones. Starting this autumn, people will be able to browse Miiverse from their smartphones. 
Initially, the experience will be browser-based, but Nintendo plans to create a dedicated Miiverse app in the future. System updates. Two major updates are on the way, one in the autumn and one in the winter. The updates will introduce a wide range of functionality, such as virtual console capabilities and shortening the time it takes users to launch software or return to the menu screen. What is your favourite announcement out of this Nintendo Direct? Are you looking forward to the Wii U Virtual Console service? Which old school games are you dying to play? What are you looking forward to? Shout it out in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching, again this is Tier 7 and we'll be back with more of your gaming news. Peace.